Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Something cool I wanted to show you guys. Just a quick little video, okay? Hope you appreciate it. Let's go ahead and power up this DC power supply. What you're looking at is a little Tesla coil slayer using a 2N3055 along with a 1, one ohm 10 watt resistor. Um, what I want to demonstrate here is we're going to get this transistor to um, oscillate and we're going to work the primary up the um, secondary and what I find pretty unusual that I wanted to post this video was that obviously when you fire it up like this the going out of the bottom of the secondary would be the negative and the top piece here would be the positive well what happens when you move this up what happens and usually you don't get a lot of light action down bottom here um, when you move it up. But for some reason, that's not happening here. It's lighting up in the bottom and the top. And if I move this all the way up top, how can that this transistor still be switching and pushing the kit on the swing and making the transistor oscillate with the primary being moved like that. So let's give it a test run. And I want you to also notice the current and there's the amps. So we'll go ahead and we'll kick start this. And there you go, we're at point 10. Um, got a light lighting up. Got a light lighting up. Typical situation, right? No anomalies. Just straight up. That's without a top load, by the way. Doesn't like that, huh? Turned right off. Touched the wire. Well, that's because the current was low. I sucked all the current out of it, I guess. Let's go ahead and restart it. Not going to start back up. Go ahead and move the primary up. Let's see if that'll do it. There it goes. Now we're at current there, 0.17. Not much. So, let's move it back down. not getting much either there it goes now let's go ahead and move it up you ready guys all right so let's say we put it halfway now let's talk about this that's halfway okay so would this be a monopolar tesla coil Leave your comments. Well, where's your dipoles? So if your dipoles is that this is your this is your positive. See that burning my finger? That's your positive down here is your negative, alright? So the switching part right now kind of confuses me how this would even keep switching. And you can see that the current went up from having it down low. And let's go up a little higher and watch the current start to go up. All right, so I went a little higher and because I was touching it, you can see the reaction on both of my hands. Well, let's go up a little higher. You can see the current. Look, I'm up to 0.80 of an amp. 
18 volts. Let's go ahead and jet up to 24 volts. And let's check. Oh yeah, you can see that burn mark. You can see that um, Now, one thing I want you to notice, watch the current drop down when I get this plasma going. Oops, we had... Houston, we have a problem. So what I think right now is... Oh, no, we're back. All right, so let's bring this down or up. Let's see what happens. go down from 25 volts keep it at 20 21 all right Well, it likes it better at half than it does at whole. That's a whole lot of power. Now, I want you guys to look at the current. Right now we got one, two, three, four, five lights going. We got six lights going. And we're at 0 .0, 0.28. So let's drop a light. And we're at 0.29. Let's drop another light. We're at 0.34. Let's put that light back on. We're at 0.28. Let's lose that. 0.34. Let's lose that. Little LED. 0.34. Let's lose this light. Still at 0.34. At 0 So I would assume wherever the light is the brightest is the perfect place for this primary. So let's check that out. It's dimmer going down. We got a spot right there. That's pretty darn bright. So there's its G spot. Let's put a top load on it. Let's go ahead and reset it. Now I'm not any firing with that top load on. Let's go ahead and re-go again. Let's 
got to move it up maybe it sounds like it's firing down there there you go it wasn't even going to kick on down bottom did you see that so basically i had to bring it back up to get the transistor turning on and off <clears throat> Pretty bright there. Oh, it's funny. doesn't like it down there you put a load on it so you notice the difference here is what I'm showing you guys is when you move the primary up say if your primary in reference to a car and a car old time cars had old time back in the 80s 90s that had carburetors um, and you would um, choke your carburetor to get the gas to come up and it would run until the cars warmed up it would run better then you come up on your choke and try to get it to where it's open and when you bring this primary up you're sort of doing the same thing in reference now let's go ahead and get this back up let's restart it all right so what what i'm showing you is when it's low and it's in residence obviously and we're going to start watch the the current see it start to go down Wish I had more lights. So we start it. Point three seven. Wow, that made it really efficient. There's your current. Now remember, these lights are touching ground earth ground see the current drop you got more load on there explain that to me you guys have a great day bye bye